So in the last video we casted this part. Um, I got chucked up in the lathe. I indicated it in as best as I could. Um, it's kind of hard to go off these rough castings. I just I put the indicator on this and I just waited until it would fluctuate the least amount because this surface is pretty rough. So it was fluctuating like plus or minus 15 or 20 and uh, that's that's as best as I'm going to get with a rough casting. You can see they're talking about that blowhole uh, casting defect that happened last time. So I filled it in with Milliput. Milliput is a two part epoxy putty. Uh, it's kind of like body filler, but you know, different, I guess. Um, I have no idea if this can handle the temperatures uh, that I can, I'm going to throw at it. I don't think it can, but then again, I don't even think this is necessary, but I have no idea. We're just going to machine it. We're going to try it. If it fails, I'll make another one of these parts. Uh, but for now, we're just going to go with this. So let's look at our cutter here. Get it in shot. And we're going to start by facing this part off. So I'm going to see if, uh, if my cutter is on center. Yeah, it looks like it. So we're going to lock the carriage, feed into the compound. We're going to take a light cut because this is a rough casting. Just to see how we're doing here. Yeah, we're getting there. Okay, so. Uh, let's keep facing. Okay. We're not completely cleaned up, as you can see. But, uh, I think I'm just going to do a couple more passes off camera. And, uh, and then I'll bring you back. So it's just about cleaned up. Um, I'm going to leave it for now because we're going to have to, we might have to go back to fine tune this height right here. So here's the game plan. We've already faced this. Um, this part, these two parts right here, are going to act as this actual cylinder head part that goes on the bottom of the engine, right? This is, this is the part that goes in the cylinder. So this needs to be turned down to the cylinder diameter and uh, this part is the head part and we'll have the where the head bolts go through it this part around it is to bolt on the crosshead guide and I'll explain more about that uh, in the video where I make the uh, where I make the crosshead which is coming up uh, but um, so the way we're going to do this is we're going to turn first I just want to get everything roughed out. I just want to get everything turned so that it's, you know, concentric and, and flat. So we're going to turn this uh, side down, and then we're going to turn this face down. And then after we do that, we're going to take measurements. We're going to make sure this is, they're all the right uh, dimensions. Okay, so we're going to next um, turn this down. This, just to rough it in, so let's see here. Okay. All right. So we got rid of a lot of that chamfer. So now I'm gonna focus on facing this side. All 
Alright, I faced this uh, down the size, about half an inch, and uh, you can see there's a little bit of, just a little bit of porosity, and we have a little bit of this uh, milliput repair left over, but that's, again, we're going we're gonna to see if that's going to be okay or not. Um, so now we need to turn this down to diameter. So let's go to our tool. We'll start down here. Still got 140,000. Alright, we're getting there. Let's see where we're at. Yeah, 19, yeah, about 20,000. Let me just do a sanity check. Yeah, this is 22. So, all right. So, let's let's go in. Okay. We'll take 20. And this will be our last pass. Right at it at two. So now that this is um, turned down the size, we got to take more off of this front because we, we we removed some material here. We need to take more off this front. About a sixteenth of an inch. did a spring pass on the diameter and it took a little bit too much it took a little bit too much uh, off the diameter but it should still be okay so now I'm going to uh, we're gonna put this what we have on there It's not as tight as I would like, but it's 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 okay. And I'm gonna look down through the valve, uh, through the steam port, and I want it to be flush with the top, and it is. So that's the right uh, thickness. So now we need to uh, poke a hole through it and ream it. Three quarter. Oh.
Now let's test our rod, which we made, I think, a thou or so under. Under. Perfect. We got. We got like no play in that. It moves really freely. That is perfect. So I'm just gonna use some embry cloth on that inner edge right there. Come on, focus, focus. There we go. So next we need to uh, punch the holes for the cylinder head and the cross head. Um, cross head guide, rather. I have the point of the center punch right on the line of this inner hole. It's not the most accurate way to do it, but I think it'll be good enough. So, the diameter, let's see if I can get you in here. That, this bolt hole diameter where my thumb is pointing, um, if we look, it's 3 inch, 250 thou. So we didn't need to go half that distance. 1.65 is what we need to go out. 20... 25. Well, that ain't right. Aha! That is not right because... Uh, I had accidentally added in the um, diameter of this hole. So, we need to now go back. <laughs> 750 divided by 2, which is uh, 375. So let's go back 375. Okay, this should be the right spot, but I'm actually going to go redo it again from the middle because I had some backlash in my uh, leaves grill. And, uh, but I'm not going to show that because it's boring as hell. Okay, now we're going to uh, punch the holes. So uh, if you... I'm not going to set up the dual camera again like I did last time. I'm going to punch these... I'm going to center punch these holes using the same method I use when uh, we machine the uh, engine cylinder. So I'm starting on the, uh, and namely that means using the bull gear of the lathe and going over seven and a half uh, notches. So I'm going to start by punching this. Okay, so let's make... That looks good. So now we're going to go over 7.5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 0.5 right there. So we're going to and then we're just going to keep doing that until we go it all the way around. I'm not going to show it this time. So if you look at the drawing this uh, outer bolt holes pad circle is five and a quarter inches. So we have 5.250 and we need to subtract what we, well first we need to divide that by two. And that gives us the distance from the center to the uh, outside bolt hole circle. But now we need to subtract the distance we already went to get to this bolt hole pattern, which is 1.65, we need to move over one inch. So that's what we're going to do. That's an inch. Let's see where we end up. Okay. That looks about right. We want this these holes, if you look at the drawing again, Get it, get you in here. Let's back up. So, uh, you see how these holes are aligned? That's what we want. Uh, so I gotta pick a hole. Uh, I'll pick the one that goes through the casting line. So we're gonna start our first hole. Right about. Right about here. Actually, yeah, right there. So, now we have 60 
detents in the bulk here, we're going to divide that by 4. we got to go over 15. So uh, I'll do the first one on camera, and then I'll do the rest off camera. So we're starting at this one, so we're just going to... Okay, so now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I think that's right. So let's Now let's go over another 15. Oh, well, I'll do the rest off camera. Okay, all the holes are punched. You can see I put some red mark on there so I can see them better because it, it's hard to see them with this scale. Uh, so what we need to do next, if you look uh, on this cross section, we need to... Um, we've done everything. We've faced these two faces, turned this guy down to size, we've drilled and reamed this guy, we've done all the bolt hole, we did the bolt hole patterns for the head and the cross head guy bolting. Now we need to flip it over, bore this little uh, relief here for the stuffing box, and I'll explain what that is later. Um, and then we also need to uh, make this hole pattern, this four hole pattern for the stuffing box. The stuffing box is so we can seal the bottom uh, shaft as it goes through here because it's, it's gonna have it's gonna be pressurized on one side so we need to we need to make a gland for that so I'm gonna take this out and we're gonna flip it over and then we're gonna indicate it in on the um, the uh, reamed hole